Now, welcome back, folks. Next thing we're going to do is construct this triangle. There's three inches on each side and has equal angles. So let's go ahead and create that. The first thing I'm going to do is hide any existing sketches I have, create a new sketch on that front work plane, again, and for normal, P to hide the planes. I think the easiest thing to do here is start by drawing three lines. I'm just going to draw one, two, and we'll touch the origin, and three. As you can see right now, what I don't have is a equilateral triangle with three equal sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add that construction line to the center and join this up. So I'm going to find the midpoint here. And then we're going to go up to the vertex there and click a release. Let's go ahead and turn that center line that we just created into a construction line by selecting it. And then either clicking the construction button or the letter Q on your keyboard. Now we have a line, a triangle, still pretty flexible, but we can control it by hitting the vertical button or the perpendicular button. Here, so let's go ahead with perpendicular. We'll take the perpendicular tool, click that construction line, and click the baseline. And now you can see that that is centered. I want to move things around. It stays together. Let's go ahead and add the dimension of three inches to each side. We can grab our dimension tool from the top or tap the letter D on our keyboard to select it. Click and release on each edge. The number three, enter. Three, enter. Or release. Three, enter. You'll notice that whenever I went to add the last one, it all turned red. Because the reality is, I didn't need that. So I'm going to click that dimension, and I'm going to click that dimension and delete it. So this is completely, fully constrained. We're done. 